Hayes. Hi. So we're going to the Bergdorf window reveal and we're going to meet up with Christian Choi. We're going to pick him up on the way down there and we're going to see Cassie Thorpe there as well. Jerry, our girl from Bergdorf, she is the one that got us invited and we're going to see her as well. But this is my look because it's raining. It's been raining all day. Ugh. Anyway, I'm wearing a wardrobe NYC cape coat legging and underneath a Frankie shop oversized blazer and a marine sailor um, layer underneath there. I'm actually also going to the Mind Games dinner, um, the fragrance brand. So I just wanted to dress to impress, but stay warm. I got my little umbrella, my little baggy bag, and we're on the road because our Uber should be pulling up right now. All right, let's go. Hi, darling. <laughs> Oh, it's a shame because everyone's inside and it's pouring rain, but I had to come out and see these windows. Had to. Yeah. Well, yeah. That was how you hit the sun. It's a lot. You know, not a good, good weather. Uh, so thanks for making it here and, and uh, celebrating with us. Um, I also want to. Uh, Thanks, Sarah Harrelson, for being uh, with All for magazine. Thank you so much.
Oh, am I giving you body and bounce? Body and bounce. So you see guys, she blow dried my hair straight. I went under the dryer for a little while after that. Then she pressed my hair straight and now we're just doing a bump. There is no real tutorial for me to give y'all. It's just, it's the flow. It's just what I do. It's Lorraine. It's Lorraine, it's her hands. You know, she blesses my crown and it just does what it does. My hair listens to what she does. Real bad, actually. Goes together really badly. I use T3. Yeah. Because the benefit's always on sale. If you buy it and it's not on sale, that's on you. <laughs> T3 um, styling product, amazing. I have a white. Do they have any other color besides white? Yes, they have black and graphite. Okay. I'm going to show y'all one. Hold on. That's T3. It's not messy. <laughs> to you. To you it is. I don't know what's going on. It looks like this is a workstation though. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's the workstation. <laughs> ah. But y'all wanted something. So this this is how it works. I Maybe. I love how they be putting your outfits on. I love them. Watch the in my suit. Yes, great layers. I'm actually wearing my suit today, guys. But yeah. It's why do all hairdressers um have a little like they can sing y'all sing y'all be having like no hairstylists have singing voices and people don't know until like they're in their chair and you hear them like sing a little bit a little diddly and you're like wait a minute we just know okay but that's the part that nobody knows but y'all could sing a little bit like y'all could sing Y'all can hold a note. We all, yes. All of us in here coming on here. That's what I'm saying. You were here yesterday. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yes. So good. Love Lorraine. Yeah, she was coming Hi. Yes. Hi. Love having dinner with you. Yes. Thank you. It happens to not not often enough. Yes. But oh yeah, yeah. It does. It does not happen. No. Often enough. Okay. I don't it like needs it. To happen more. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> We're in Carlos's old high school to see his little cousin play in the Wiz, and um, I was looking at him, looking around you know, being nostalgic. And I thought to myself, I would have been foolish enough to date you in high school. <laughs> he looks like a bad boy. I would have definitely tried. Yeah, I'll get called at this office all the time. The wellness center? Well, this wasn't a wellness center. This was like the assistant principal's office, actually, for one of the top, Trombetta. Trombetta was the guy who ran the show. He was the one that would call out everyone for attendance, call them down to the office, if your name got called over that loudspeaker, then you knew you were getting suspended. I'll get called out at least once a week. I would have liked Carlos back then, too. At least once a week, I was getting called down to this. I like a bad boy. <laughs> yeah. This is cool. I can't believe... So we didn't even know what play she was doing until we got here. And I was like, wait, Kaden's doing The Wiz? Iconic. Because they could have done Wizard of Oz, but they chose to do The Wiz. I love that. I love that for her. So we came right at intermission, and now we're gonna get back in there, find some seats that aren't taken, and revel in her artistry. <laughs> I feel like she's doing a good job. <clears throat> so let's see. Ain't me no bad news. Cause I wake up already negative, not why I don't mock you. So don't nobody bring me. No. Okay, baby, I'm here. But it's not because of you. Don't chain. Don't you come signify to me, little ape. I'll put a spell on your coconuts. <clears throat> Anyways, what you gonna lay on me in the game this time? Oh, I got something right up your alley. Couple of cats who need straighten it out. Got you, Luke.
cookies it is sunday i woke up a little early this morning and carlos and i we live stream a church and i have like a hankering for um this coffee from this place in midtown called coda kona coffee kona coffee they just make it in a way that i feel so good about i have them add a little coconut syrup a little vanilla syrup so it's not too sweet just enough but the flavoring with the latte and the oat milk and the type of beans that they use i'm just like i need that in my life right now so i'm gonna head down take a little drive into the city because that's where it is and yeah, I'm gonna get me a little, little latte, maybe a little pastry, I don't know. Just wanna take this day super easy. Yesterday was tough. I worked several hours with Chamel for a campaign and um, then I had a change of plans and I went to Long Island, as y'all saw, to go see Carlos's little cousin in her play and I had no idea they were doing The Wiz. I was like, wait, what? So, I love that. It's iconic. It's like, they could do Wizard of Oz, but they did The Wiz. I love it. Really talented teenagers. I was really just so happy to see his little cousin, Caden, in her element, like in her creative bag and happy and just feeling herself. She had her nails done, eyebrows done, makeup done, hair done. I was just so happy for Caden because like, She's had a little bit of difficulty, you know, finding herself in a way or just her relationships in her life just felt a little out of sorts. And she has a lot to offer, so much potential and just so much heart. And it was just so cool to see her come out her shell do you want to go or do you want to park? Come out her shell and just show her true self in front of her family. And I think it meant so much for them to come last night. I don't I don't think a lot of people were able to go to the first two nights of the show. And so everyone, mostly everyone was there. And I think it got to her because I don't think it's a feeling that she feels often supported, unfortunately. So, you know, when Carlos told me that it was the last night of the show, it had slipped his mind. I didn't know about it. Um, you know, knowing her history, I said, I want to go. I want to see her do her thing. I want to be there for her. So we did. We pulled up. And I'm glad other people in the family did, too. That, that meant a lot to her. So, yeah, it was dope. That was so dope. Them kids were amazing. I'm like, dang, I wish we would have did this in my high school. We did Tom Sawyer. So anyway, yeah, so I'm heading downtown, taking the slow route. And uh, got a half a tank of gas on Carlos. <laughs> and I'm just going mosey on down, get my little coffee. I might get a little pastry from someplace, I don't know. And then he wants to get Charles pan fried from 125th for dinner. So we're going to do that too. A soulful Sunday and we're gonna keep it there I also have gigantic platform boots on right now because I don't wear them enough and I just felt like putting them on I hope I don't roll my ankle as I get out the car to get my coffee but my ankles aren't that strong anymore so we're gonna see if I make it but anyway I'll see y'all in a little bit I'll see y'all in a little bit we'll, we'll go down
morning. Um, I am actually taking the stuff out of this bag to put in another bag so I can head down to the office because today is a uh, shipping day for gray layers. All orders that were placed on launch day, I'm going to be getting them out and shipped today. So I'm gonna be at the office for a couple of hours, but I actually wanted to, um, I'm thinking if I, I have a lot of stuff going on in this bag. I'm thinking if I should stop at the tailor and FedEx to drop off. Like, I'm feeling like today is more errand day before I get to the office type of thing. So I'm trying to figure out how, what's the best way to package everything for myself so I don't feel like I'm carrying everything, even though I am. So, yeah. So I think we're going to... Figure out a way for me to carry this box to send back one of the Saucony sneakers that were completely wrong. I ordered a pair of blue and gray winter tech sneakers in a size women's eight and a half. This is what they sent in a size 10 men's, a men's sneaker in a size 10. Girl, and then it took like two weeks for the package to get here in the first place. I was like, so y'all just gonna take your time and be wrong confidently wrong okay so anyway so i have to do that and then i got some pants that i need to get taken in from wardrobe nyc and then these uh girlfriend black jeans that i got recently that already kind of stretched out in a way that i don't love so i'm thinking like let me get them taken in um a bit and now i'm thinking should i dry clean should i wash them and then do the thing with the things. Hmm. I'll I'll make sure there's enough room. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go to the tailors and we're gonna drop this off. Then we're gonna go to the Frankie shop because there's some pants that Tracy Ellis Ross was talking about on his podcast I seen her on the other day. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go to the office. No, then we're gonna go to Kona Coffee, get my coffee, get my latte, and then we're gonna go to the office. Trying to be home by like four. Let's see if I can manage. Also, we have to reach out to Shamel to make sure that he has the content that we worked on the other day for, ready for today. Also, y'all, I'm gonna ask what sent if it's okay for me to give y'all a link to my favorite flavors because the one that they had me, there's a flavor that they had me working on that. I don't, I thought it was going to be good and like I agreed to do the thing because I liked all the other flavors. And then when I got this flavor, I was like, I don't think I would have picked this flavor for myself. Like I think people would like it if they like the two, the two main ingredients of the flavor, right? But I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to drive people just to that one flavor because I, I don't really love it for, for me. Why? What's going on my gimbal? I don't really love the flavor. And I'm like, oh no, if I, if you guys get it and don't like it, then I feel like I'm going to be questionable, you know? So I think that there will be people who will enjoy it for sure. But I'm sorry, I'm doing too much, right? I'm like trying to get my little baggie together. So what I'm trying to say is... I was so gung-ho about working with the brand because I do like their product, okay? But I should have asked for them to send me the flavor that they want to focus on before so I could like figure out a game plan to work around it because it is not my favorite flavor. Um, and, that, and that's that. It's just not my favorite flavor and I'm hoping that once the campaign comes out, that I can drive my community to a page that encompasses other flavors that I actually really, really love. Because y'all gonna be like, Carolyn, what is this? If you, if you have the same taste buds as I do, which most of us don't. Like we all have different things that we like more than the other, right? But, I'm just very protective over these types of things. That's all. That's all it is. I just don't want to be 
that person be like, oh, she do anything for a check. No, I ain't know. <laughs> First of all, please excuse me because I thought I, I, the one that I, I like is um the strawberry, I think strawberry lemonade or strawberry kiwi. And then I also got mango tamarind. So, you know, like I, we, we're, we're going to talk. We're going to talk about it. Okay, I need a charger. All right. Oh, it's warm in here. I got a little warm because I should have kept this off before it was time for me to, until it was time for me to leave because this is a lot going on. Okay, so I have, I'm not taking the computer. I have one there. Oh my God, I've been wearing, what is this? Mind Games and Pre? Oh, I love it. <laughs> It smells so good. This little sample, oh my goodness. I like this one a lot. And then the other one I've been also trying is the Bottega. I, don't, I can't remember the name of it. But yeah, those two. And I need to re-up on my Dries Van Note and it's almost done. Oh, remind me when I get home that I gotta like do an unboxing for you guys. I have to show you all the things that I purchased when the elections result came out in order for, for me to find a way to self-soothe, right? Yeah, that's, I have to show you guys what I did. Get one here. Ooh. Oh, it does. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, snug little t-shirt on a, on a baby bear. Okay. Ah! We like that. We like when things fit. Cozy. All right. And then next I have my my keys for the office. Yeah, so I have to show you guys a couple of things. I got some a gift, a really cute gift from Ari. I got like this random discount code from Banana Republic Home that I got some things with. But um these are the jeans that I need to get taken in. They have uh distressing on both knees, but they're just they got a little bit bigger around the waist. So I don't really love that from moi. I'm thinking I don't really need to bring this whole garment bag. But these are actually the pants from Wardrobe. And it came in that really nice garment bag. But um, these are the tuxedo pants from Wardrobe NYC. They have them in white as well. And I was contemplating it, but they actually weren't on sale. The, the black pair was on 70% off. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, come on down the road. Okay, um, see, so yeah, I'm gonna get those done. I'm actually gonna take these to Alteration Specialist because uh, two things. Sean Garrett the other day was met, he was livid. He took his stuff to Kingsbridge Tailoring and Dry Cleaners over there. I think his, the one that he went to, I think, was on the Sixth Avenue location, but he went there and was so pissed that they ruined some of his pieces and I was like oh I started I just started going there this year like this summer and I liked how they did things I did feel like they were really overpriced for what they did like they fixed the hem on a linen long shirt and it was like $125 I was like I'm sorry what so if I'm paying that much I like alteration specialists they also are expensive the thing is they get my stuff quick they, they do my stuff quickly number one it's rare that I have to go back and make them do anything again, but when they when I do, I think it's like within 30 days, they do it for free. And I remember I took like a pair of G, uh, leather pants to get hemmed up and somehow like the hem wasn't sticking or whatever, I don't know what happened, but I went right back and I was like, yeah, I wore these already since you guys fixed them and it's coming undone at the bottom here. Can you fix it? No problem, hasn't been an issue since the fix. So. I feel like if I'm going to be spending my money, I need to make sure that I have a, a certain amount of time to take things like a good return policy or redo policy and they do my shit quickly. So I feel like I, I don't want to, um, I don't want to chance it. So we're going to go to alteration specialist since we're going to Soho to go to the Frankie shop and I want a croissant from that place on that corner. What's that thing called again? We're going to see it. We're going to see it. Um, but anyway, Let's get out of here. I'm I'm hot. This sweater is warm. Okay, but anyway, let me I'll show you what I got on. 
So I'm wearing this uh, Frankie Shop sweater with a hood and my Silver Lake jeans, my cuts and slice t-shirt, and um, Aritzia socks, my Saint Laurent Michaels, okay? Don't play with her, don't play with her. And then I'm wearing this vintage uh, Saint Laurent suede trench. It does. It didn't come with a belt, but honestly, when I'm wearing my trench coats and stuff, I don't really close it unless it's super cold. And today, it, um, raining. I'm sorry. Unless it's raining, that's when I close them. But typically, I leave them open, and I just feel like you know. Oh, and because I'm not wearing makeup, my skin kind of got a little irritated recently because hormones. Mounds, yeah, and uh, just gonna wear the biggies today, you know. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, and I'm wearing my my big my big large hop, cause she's gonna do the things today. So all right, return alteration shipment and everything is down there. Computer is down there. For labels have my wallet you know when you feel like you're just forgetting something I don't like that feeling let me go in the bedroom and just double check okay the only thing that I could really figure out that I was leaving behind was my hair tie it's fine I guess I think I have everything I need all right let's roll and get on the train Just make the waist in. Let's not even do this. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Right. I, I no, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> 